Feel Good Porn Station. I'm back with another video and I'm so happy to be talking to this amazing human being on the other side of the screen. Welcome, baby. I am still doing Galaxy Pours and this is another one and I named it Cosmic Cantina because this is a restaurant in the city that I live in, Durham, North Carolina, that is known to be available all night long. They don't close like four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. And back in my younger days, this is where we went after the party let out. So I hope you enjoy this video. There are tips in the video and I'll see you very soon. Peace.
Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are enjoying this video. I have started this little tradition of showing my cup at the end of a straight pour, ring pour, galaxy pour. Just kind of fun. Um, but in this video, look at my finger, y'all. That was from the cup. Even the finger is pretty. <laughs> um, but this piece, though it had a lot of light colors, they kind of got absorbed in and I actually love the end result. It really looks like a party to me. It reminded me of Mardi Gras and though I've never been to Mardi Gras as an adult, you don't stop partying during Mardi Gras. So that is in part how I came up with the name because it is uh, cosmic-like. Um, and cantina you know it's just fun so it reminded me of the restaurant um and and where i live and so that is how i came up with the name uh this is my flow extender this is the same paint that i use in the pour like you've seen me do many many times before uh but one thing i want to make mention is um whenever you start to tilt i like to go side to side bringing the paint back to center and I like to tilt off the side that I like the least and I'm telling you this because you will see in just a moment that my camera cut off so y'all not gonna see the whole tilt but you're gonna get the idea all right um and so I'm gonna let you enjoy a little bit more of this video um, I did not use any satin enamel, so we didn't get many boulder cells, but we got lots of fingerlings with our 24 karat gold by Deco Art. So I just like to show you the possibilities and things you can do, friends. <laughs> So as I stretch this out, I'm super glad that we fixed that center uh, because it's opening up and I'm going to add a little bit more paint. Um, I need to get that corner off and I end up leaving some block of color uh, because I was afraid if I kept stretching, I would lose the center composition. Uh, you can see that all the fingerlings that we saw at the beginning of the goal, it all kind of comes towards the center. And to me, it gives that, that cosmic effect. So I didn't want to take the chance of losing it. Plus, I had already taken off a good amount of paint off my canvas, so I knew that this would dry well. Um, so you'll see me kind of finish this up here. 
and make a few more adjustments. So all of my paints were not the same consistency. You'll see I used a ton of different paints. Uh, many of them were leftovers, and so I just mixed them in uh, to try to get rid of them. And so what I did was, because I'm using two paints, you can use a little bit of water to match the consistencies without breaking down the binder. Now, if you decide to use a craft paint or a lower end quality paint, any water that you use is going to potentially break down the binder in your paint, thus causing you to lose your, your rings if you're doing a ring pour or your composition if you're doing a straight pour. Also, it's going to allow your colors to get muddy more easily. So that's just something to really think about. The higher end quality of paint, the more you can extend it, um, the, has better binders so you can do more with it and you can use more water. So that's something that a lot of beginners get tripped up on because when you're on these videos, you see people and the look of the paint is very deceiving. Sometimes it looks really, really thin when it's actually not. So you're like, let me go water my paints down and then you get mud. <laughs> And I'm so happy and excited to tell you that I will be teaching Galaxy Pours at the next Fluid Art Experience in Seattle, Washington, April 27th through the 29th of 2023. I cannot wait to see you there. Um, I will be teaching Blooms again with some additional content uh, for my classes. You can ask anyone that took their class with me. We have fun. We spread love and we just cut up in class. So um, tickets are available. I've linked the website below. There are going to be some other amazing artists there. I cannot wait to see you in the building. Go ahead and get your tickets now. Um, you can book those flights. Okay, go ahead and book that flight. Um, and I can't wait to paint with you. And I can't wait to see you in more of my videos. So go ahead and press that like, share, and subscribe button for me, friends. I made a few more adjustments. My camera stopped once again. Don't know what's going on with that thing. But this is the final look. And before I let you go, the colors are coming up next so you can see what exactly I use. But remember, family, treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. In that, do everything with love. The good, the bad, the not so good, anything that you do, operate in love. And I believe and I know that you will see a change in your life. Treat people with kindness, respect. I know it's cliche, but we can't say it enough. So these are my colors. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Peace.